All right, so welcome back. If you if you've already been here, welcome. If you're new, we're gonna be working with the next few videos operators. Um, basically, what operators are, they're like some as you can see, they're like triangles at the end. Those are called booleans, and then some around those are just called inputs. So we're gonna be working on uh the equality for the next few videos um so less than greater than and equals obviously like 50 equals 50 something like that you mainly use equality with an if block so again if block and like it's, it's gonna be like easy because like it's numbers so if 51 is greater than 50 then Say hello. And it is, so say hello. Obviously, like, you wouldn't use, like, 51 if 51 is greater than 50. Because, like, it's always true. But, like, so today we're going to be going over variables. Because, really, operators kind of rely on variables. Because, like, instead of doing... If 51 is greater than 50, you can do if my variable is greater than 50, but my variable is not set right now. So what you can do, you can delete this, keep this. I'm going to rename it. I'll call it, let's see, I'll call it just test because I don't know. So we name it test. Now we have this. Well, we want to set test at the beginning of the beginning of the when the green flag is clicked to something now if you make a variable it's already going to be showing but if you rename it if you rename the my variable it's not gonna show so you can just hit this checkbox then it will show and you set test to we'll say zero zero so what it's doing it's making sure this number q is equal to zero you can also um you can also change the format Okay, so if you double, if you like double click, or right click, I don't know, and you do normal readout, which is this, large, which is that, and slider. I don't really use slider, but I, I normally use normal or large, it depends. So I'm going to do normal though. Um, so test is equal to zero. Now we have to make test change. So... Last video I did, if you click on the sprite, something happens. So let's just do that. Let's just do that. So when the sprite clicked, change, test by one. Set basically skips the variable number right to another number. You can also put letters in here. But if you're doing letters, you have to use set because you can't, like, change by letter. So you would have to do set. Change, it just takes that number and moves it by the moves it up, back, or forward by the number you put in. So 1, now every time I click it, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And it keeps adding. Now it's up to 8 because I clicked it 8 times. If I do negative 1. And it goes down. See if you look, if you look at the test, when I click green flag, it resets to zero because we put set test to zero. So we keep clicking, keep clicking. It, every time we click, it does that. Sometimes you might have to like put a weight block in between stuff. In this case, we don't. But sometimes it's like if mouse pointer touches sprite or something, or something like that, it will go infinitely and super fast because, like, it's always touching, like, here, look, here, so forever, if touching mouse pointer, then, now look what happens, change test by one, so it, every time my mouse pointer touches it, the variable changes by one, so if we click it, look, it just goes up infinitely because it's always clicking so like in that case you would want to put 
wait in there and set it to something really small. Like I'll I'll do oh where'd that go? Okay, let's put that back. Okay, oh okay. There we go. Really small. Like that because it doesn't matter how long it is as long as there's a wait. And now I don't mind. <laughs> let's bigger wait. You do that. So the more you wait, the less fast it's gonna go. So now that we have a variable set up, and every time it's touching the mouse pointer, I'm gonna keep it like if it's touching the mouse pointer because I don't want to again. Here, let's see. Is that a good wait? Yeah, that's a good wait. So now we can use operators because. We have a variable. So, my green flag clicked forever, so it's always there. If equals, let's begin. And in that first thing, we're going to do test. If the variable test equals 10, if this number right here that's a 3 right now is 10, then I'm going to keep doing hello like all the other videos. Say hello for two seconds. Zero right now. Clicking. Or uh, not clicking, hovering. Because it's touching. And look, it says hello. Just like that. So that's basically like how you use that. This video covered variables. There's obviously more, um, more advanced stuff you can do with variables. It was just a short variable tutorial to actually use, to actually use, like, equality things. And I also covered equality a little bit, so, like, yeah, um, I'll cover more. We did variables, basically, so I might do another video more, more advanced, and we'll do operators equality a little more in next video. But I basically covered both of both of those things. So yeah, that's basically it. Bye.